Well, granted, a 2 0 win here against Crawley Town and a good win at that. What did you make of it? Very, very much deserved. Um, we knew they wanted to play possession based team, so our press had to be good. Um, I thought it was. Our energy was excellent. We nicked the ball off them so many times in terms of when they were trying to play. Um, and I thought we were good to play through and over their press when we had to. So, um, all in all, a deserved 2 0 victory. And the fact that you made an inform Crawley side, five wins on the bounce coming into this one, you made them look ordinary, would that be fair to say? Um, yeah, look, it was, it was the boys have implemented the game plan really, really well today. Um, you know, the, the bite, the energy, the centre half stepping in against their tens and being, and being really aggressive. Um, we didn't give them any way to, to get out really. So, um, yes, they kept the ball a little bit at times, but didn't really hurt us. Um, and I was pleased that the, the, that the boys have, have shown a real resolute uh, attitude about them tonight to, to keep the ball out of the net and also, you know, take the chances that we had. Second time in as many home games that you've kind of knocked a high-flying team off their perch, so to speak. Would you agree with that? Yeah, and I just said to the lads, the, the, the challenge now is to, is to go and do it again Saturday and, and try and be consistent. Um, you know, we'll be coming up against a, a very good Stockport team on Saturday who have, you know, started to go on a roll, which I think everyone knew they would at some point. Um, so we want to go there on Saturday, backed by a lot of fans. I think it's, we've sold at our allocation, so... Um, we would like to make it a, a good away day, but um, tonight was was really pleasing. Um, the energy and the, and the, atti the attitude and the, and the aggression of the boys. Mo Fall, uh, man of the match, and rewarded the faith that you added him to to put him back in the starting eleven. Yeah, Mo's a top player. He is, and you know, he, uh, we're very lucky to get him. To be honest, he could have been playing in League One, four or five clubs after him in League One, and he, he's opted to come to us. Um, to start off his development uh, in terms of his, his playing so, um, in, in the Football League. So, really pleased from tonight. He's, he was a handful all night, him and Joe. Um, he could have had a couple more, to be fair. A couple of headers where the keepers made a good save, he had a good shot second half. Um, he was in the right positions um, more often than not. So, that's what we want to keep working with Mo, um, is get him in between the posts because he's dangerous. Crucially, he looked like he was enjoying his football as well. Yeah, and he's... Sometimes, you know, young players just need to come out to go again. Um, you will probably find that a little bit with, with Mo and Louis. Um, it's their first loans in, in, the, in the football league. So, um, you know, we keep working with them both every day. They're, they're both talented players. The epitome tonight, Tom Nixon seemed to run his blood to water as well, cramped up at the end. Just the effort all round seemed to, to be there tonight. Yeah, with... It was a big shift needed tonight, you know. Um, they play in a certain style, almost similar to Notts County, as you've seen that when they came here. Um, very much trying to suck you in to, to play through you. Um, but, so we had to be really aggressive and good in our duels tonight. Um, Tom obviously emphasised that with, with his running power. He'd done really well for the second goal. Um, his energy to go past and then cross, um, which resulted in a penalty. So I'm pleased with all the boys tonight. How pleased are you to keep a clean sheet and how much more of those do you need? Yeah, it's, we haven't had many, have we? So it's um, it's always nice when they come along. Um, so, yeah, I was really pleased with, with, with the attitude of the team to, to, to defend our goal tonight. We're going to be a little bit mischievous, but were you surprised to get a penalty there? Um, nothing really surprised me tonight, what, what was going on in the middle of the pitch. Um, so it was, uh, I think, Joe Ironside is should have had at least 15, 16 free kicks on there. I think he only got one in the second half, which probably wasn't a free kick. So, yeah, that, that, it's just a frustrating night, I think, for, for both sides. The scary thing is you're not exaggerating there either, are you? No, it's... What, what I don't get, you know, that it's, it's really annoying for us managers that Owen Bailey gets booked in the first half for taking, I don't think, I think it was about 30 seconds when we, when we look back of a throw-in. But they have a corner probably five minutes after that, which takes him 60 seconds. So, yes, is it something to do with we're 1-0 up and they're 1-0 down? I don't, it shouldn't be, you know what I mean? It should just be consistent, regardless of the score. Um, and I asked him that at half-time, and that's, that's why I was aggrieved, you know, during the game, because um, all we, all we ask, or, uh, ask for is a bit of consistency in these things. You know, it took him 60 seconds from the, the, the ball was, the ball went out for a corner for them to go up there, take it. Owen Bailey done the same thing. He, he come up there. He's thirty seconds. He gets the yellow card. So it's um, yeah, it's, really, it's really really frustrating. That. Do you mind me asking why you were booked? Uh, probably for a number of things. Really, probably just the decisions not going our way and 
getting a little bit frustrated, but uh, you know that's just me in general, really. What do you do in in that instance to try and keep you keep you calm if you can? It's hard because you know it's they, they ask you now to not shoot onto the pitch with without using your, raising your arms, and it's difficult. Do you know what I mean? And I've always been quite fiery anyway. So um, yeah, but look, it is what it is. Um, again, it's just the consistency of it, really. Um, I think both dugouts were raising their arms and shouting at the referee tonight, but it ends up me being, being yellow carded. Well in tonight. Cheers. Grant, would it be fair to say that was the best performance of the season? Um, a, lot, a, lot of, a lot of aspects of what we want to be and what we're about, yes. Um, one of the best we've seen. Um, remind me a little bit of the game at Hull when we, when we try to jump on top of them and press on them. So. Um, I was pleased with with the number the number of the boys tonight. In fact, the whole team and the lads that came on made a real impact, um, and I think we we thoroughly deserved to win. Yeah, the, again, it's another result against a good team in form that shows what you are capable of. Yeah, it's, look, it's early in the season. It's what is it, eleven games in now? Yeah. Um, the table's going to change. There's thirty five games left. It's going to chop and change as, as as we go on and move into December, January. So, um, look, we're quite calm in terms of where we. Where we not, we want to be better, of course, but we're quite calm and we know we'll we'll start improving and getting better all the time. Um, and I think over the over a number of weeks now, I think we've we've seen that um, stepped off it a little bit on on Saturday, but regained it again tonight. Uh, it seems like a good partnership brew between Mo and Joe. Um, the two goals, he, well, you know, two goals in as many games for both of them now. Yeah, it's nice. Uh, it's nice that the forward players are scoring goals. Um, I sat with Joe today and Joe Iron said actually after the meeting today and just watched all his goals. Um, a lot of his goals, you know, from, from his days at Cambridge and the games the goals he scored this season. Um, funny enough, I never watched any of his penalties. I skipped them. So it's quite ironic we got a penalty tonight. I think it's the first of the season. Um, so yeah, the both of them led the line well for us tonight. Tommy Rowe joining them with them and, and being really aggressive. Um, I thought we uh, I thought we'd done well up there today. Joe seems like someone who leaves everything out there on the pitch. Sort of puts his body on the line every match. Yeah, he takes a lot of knocks. He, he's he's tough to play against, Joe, because he's, he's he's tough, he's hard, and he can take knocks and he can get on with it. He's robust. Um, like I think it was a lot of times today where he should have had free kicks and didn't get it. Um, but it's like pleased with the two boys. They've got their goals today. Yeah, Harrison. Uh, what was the diagnosis on him? Just it, strange one, really. He felt his ankle on Thursday in training and. Um, Said he was fit for for Friday Saturday, which was fine. But I don't know whether he was compensating for it a little bit because he's he's ended up feeling his opposite calf. Um, so I don't think it's going to be too long. I think it's only a, only a matter of days, really. Yeah, great stuff. Thanks for your time. Cheers. Grant, can you see your team growing in confidence over these last few weeks? I hope so. I hope so. I hope so. That's the that's the plan. Um, definitely growing. Definitely getting better. Definitely understanding of of how we want to work and how we want to play. Um, you know we. I've never been a safe manager. I like to be on the front foot and getting after people. And I think today showed that really of a, a real aggressive performance from us. And you know, I think we are only going to improve, particularly when we get players back. We've had John Taylor back on the grass as well, which is a massive boost for everyone. Um, so he probably needs a week or two of of, of work with us before we can consider him. But um, Richard Wood, Jack Senior, not too far away. Ian Lawler obviously back, and you've seen him involved on the bench today. So. Um, Jamie Sterry is working hard. George Miller's working hard to get back. So there's a lot of lot of good players on the way back for us, and um, it's only going to make us stronger. I, th I think we all know, you know, in the in the calm of a press conference, that it, it does take time to sort of find your way into a season when you've revamped a squad as 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 much as you have. But you, you know as well that football is not a very patient game. What what does it say about your young lads that they've, you know, not got swept up in? Panic about a slow start or, or anything like that. Um, I think they've been quite focused and driven. We've got a really good change in them. No, no egos. Nobody getting above their station or nobody getting down when we lose. I think we we try and stay consistent as a staff um, with our messages and how we work. So it's uh, you're right. Football is a is a very fickle industry. If you don't win football games, then people will ask you, you know, why and and start calling for your job. It's it's the only it's the only. Uh, Probably industry in in sport that happens. You know, it's like it's it's constant in football, and I just see I see a lot of it with the, you know, what's going on with a lot of the clubs around here, and um, it's not nice to see and not nice to watch. You know, but for for me, it's about 
staying level, staying grounded, continue to believe in our, in our beliefs and uh, you know, we will come good and, and we are starting to come good. So how important have they, particularly the older leaders in your dressing room, been in terms of just keeping everyone grounded? Yeah, they're massive. Tommy Rowe, Richard Wood, Tom Anderson, John Taylor. Um, you know, these people are, are, are massive in terms of what we want to do. You know, just keeping everyone level. We know it's not an 11 game season. You know, there's, there's 46 games to be played. Um, a lot of teams will get above their station early doors and, and find themselves wanting come the end of the season. So we want to make sure we're, we're right in that mix come the come come April, end of April, early May. And do you feel like your team performs better against the, the better teams, and particularly the teams like Crawley, and you mentioned Hull as well, who like to pass the ball around and you know maybe take a few more risks? I think we're, we, we're starting to adapt to different ways of playing against teams now. Um, you know, Barrow were a little bit different on Saturday where they could mix it and, and play it in a different sort of shape. I think tonight we got... Um, our rewards for, for the work on the training ground that we've we've worked on. You know, we we do it every game but I felt yesterday the boys took it on took it on and, and I could I could sense that, you know, we, we were gonna we were gonna win the game tonight because I felt the training was good. Tactically but the boys understood spot on what we're trying to do. Um, so we need to understand, you know, moving into Saturday's game what, what that what's that gonna look like against Stockport, um, a team that's on the on the rise. And when you mentioned about Joe there, showing him the clips, is it important sometimes just to remind players what good players they are? Yeah, he had a big smile on his face after I showed him. You know, he's, I said to him, when was the last time you watched him? He said, probably at the start of the season when he sat with Willie Glover and watched him. So it's nice to remind players of, you know, areas where they score. Um, tonight he was in so many good areas. He had a couple of opportunities, even the one that was offside. Um, he was in and around the post. So, um, you know, Joe and Mo, Louis, George, when he comes back, we feel like we've got forwards that can that can get goals at this level. And Joe in particular, I mean, obviously he's getting you know some pretty rough treatment from from Williams all the way through the night. He he did well to keep his cool, didn't he? Yeah, and he and he just gets going. He, he keeps going. That's what he's about. You know, he he goes back in for the next the next battle, the next fight. Um, so yeah, please.